Did you know the first computer wasn't made in Silicon Valley but by a lonely genius? His name was Charles Babbage, and he spent his life building a machine that would change the world, but never saw it run. Born in London in 1791, Charles was sickly as a child. Bedridden for months, he buried himself in math books. While other boys dreamed of ships and war, Charles dreamed of machines that could think. By his 30s, he was already famous for solving impossible equations. But he saw a bigger problem, human error. In a world powered by navigation charts, banking ledgers, and star maps, one bad calculation could sink a ship or bankrupt a company. His solution? A colossal brass and steel difference engine, a machine that could calculate perfectly forever. The British government gave him the modern equivalent of millions. Work began, but it was slow, painstaking. Every gear had to be handmade. Then before the first machine was finished, Babbage dreamed up something even more ambitious, the analytical engine. It could store numbers, follow instructions, and run programs using punch cards, a mechanical computer in the 1830s. It was a hundred years ahead of its time, but politicians didn't understand it. They called him extravagant. Newspapers mocked him. Investors abandoned him. Charles died in 1871, his life's work scattered in dusty workshops. A century later, engineers tried building his machine, and it worked flawlessly. Babbage had been right all along. The man mocked as a dreamer was, in truth, the father of the computer. 